Hey, Robert. Guess what, guys? Esner has updated once again, and we're going to go over some of the notes here. This is their third update, not their second, their third. Uh, you know how it works. We're going to go over some of the notes and my impressions of it. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey there, Robert. If you tune into my previous video, my Spartan update, I kept on saying this is their third update when it was wrong. It was only their second. So today, I can say third update left and right. But, however, hashtag I hate Mondays, it's Monday, you're either in school, you're at work, or you're smart, like some of us, to call in. Either way, it sucks, it's Monday, I hate Mondays. Personally, I'm still recovering from recent illness. Um, quick story, I recently volunteered to do a job in a mine. And conclusion is my strength and endurance, and I've just been sick, um, <clears throat> minus 40 uh, strength to be exact. Um, oddly enough, no one wants to be around me nor speak with me, so that's been my, my weekend. Oh well. Moving on, uh, patch 119 has finally landed, no pun intended. Um, as we go through the notes, I'm going to have patch 119 gameplay in the back. I started a new map, just as like I always do, any kind of update, just to get a fresh start. So all the gameplay in the background is going to be from the 119 update. Um, again, as always, it takes about 48 hours for everyone to receive it on console and Windows, I believe. Um, but by now, everyone should have it. It's Monday. Everyone should have it by now. If not, I, I can't help you. I'm sorry. I'll post a link to the patch notes in case you want to read, you know, the patch notes fully for yourself as well as, you know, maybe discuss on the forums. So I'll put a link of that in the description down below for you. So let's start with the plants. Um, they recently updated the spiker here to where you're able to jump on top of it. I don't know if this is a joke or not, but they <laughs> they use them, the image of uh, Finding Nemo of jumping on the jellyfishes. Um, I don't know why you'd want to jump on a spiker. I rarely encounter them. I am normally underground than I am above, so I rarely encounter them. So, quick note, you can now jump on them. Um, I did notice with those, while you're underground, those like poisonous plants that will shoot that, that poisonous cloud at you. You can now um, unearth just a part of the ground instead of the whole ground. I'll even put a video here so you can see what I'm talking about. Basically, before, you had to fully unearth the unknown chunk of the world in order to destroy them um, or killing them, whatever you want to call it. Um, now, you just have to take like a third or maybe a half. I mean barely anything in order to destroy them. So, you know, all in all, it makes it easier to uh, deal with them. Because I even had someone even comment on one of my pages, like, how are you destroying them? Um, so now it makes it a little bit more easier to, for you to handle them. And again, as you can see in the video, make sure to stand at a full distance away. You don't have to get really up close. Your um, terraformer should be able to reach without even triggering them, uh, excuse me, triggering them uh, with a gas cloud. So you should be able to kill them without any issue now. They also did a fix on the disappearance of vehicles and items, particularly when frame rates are low. I have not really experienced it. It was more for me when I would go underground and to come back up. Um, my truck would be gone and my rovers and my items would be gone. Some people even said on the forums that, you know, uh, when they leave the planet and come back, um, you know, their items are gone. So hopefully, as they stated, that it would... I mean, it's intended for them, you know, to fix it, so hopefully this has been fixed. So the developers also mentioned that, you know, they have a massive performance increase that's underway. And I can say, you know, playing on the Xbox, I don't really have an issue until it reaches a certain point, like I have so much time involved or so much, uh, like, items that have been built to where my, the console starts to struggle. And you can see it, you can notice it in the frame rates. Also with, you know, when you get multiplayer involved as well, I haven't... I usually play with nephew, but I have noticed like even when he joins that it is struggling to uh, to keep everything going at a you know a smooth pace. And the biggest update for Patch 119 I see personally is the cross-platform play. Now Xbox One users and Windows 10 users can now cross-platform play Astroneer. Um, I think it's kind of huge because I have some friends that only play on PC and some that only play on console. So this is kind of a, a good thing and yet some people are a little like, you know, the whole performance is killing. Some people have gotten clever with it to where they are running a server on Steam and everyone on the P Xbox are basically jumping on that server. Um, I don't know if it works officially, but they even Esternier even did a little tweet about it, and I'll post it right here to where someone bought like three, three or four copies and is basically running the server on the PC while jumping on it through... Um, the console, so <laughs> clever girl. And again, just to wrap things up, you know, I don't want to spend, you know, 15, 20 minutes on some patch notes that you can read. I'm just basically going over some notes that have caught my eye and basically my experiences with them. I do want to say, however, uh, I have noticed a significant difference in my viewership for these type of videos, and I want to say thank you. 
And I say thank you because it's, <laughs> it is so significant to where, you know, I keep a close eye on my viewership for some of my videos and uh, this series tends to be the biggest one. I mean, it's huge compared to all my other ones. So I really do want to say thank you. I mean, I enjoy doing these videos. Um, with each and every update that Astroneer does, you know, I want to do a type of like my experience with the patch and uh, we're not going to go over all of them, you know, I'm, maybe in the in the future we will, but for now, I'm just going over some of the ones that uh, have caught my eye and, you know, I want to highlight on uh, my experiences with them. Uh, again, I can't stress enough how <laughs> I can't express enough uh, with how much of a difference I'm noticing with these type of videos. So again, I want to say thank you. Um, please, please, please leave me a comment in case I need to change something, critique something. Uh, I, I need to know. Honestly, I do. I don't care how harsh it is. I need to know if something's wrong. Um, again, don't forget to write the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys out there. Later. Hey, Robert! Thanks again, guys, for tuning in and watching today. If you liked what you've seen, don't forget to wreck that subscribe button. It's real easy. My emblem right there in the middle of the screen, hit it, bam, you're subscribed. We have two videos on the screen also right now. We have my most recent upload and a random playlist that I have. Social media is also in the description. We have Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Reddit, and even Tumblr. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.